What is up team? It's your boy Sledge from the Sledging Team back with another video. And today we're going to talk about my 37th active credit card. Yeah, you heard that right. I have 37 active credit cards. And you know over here at Sledging we get straight to business. So let's get to it. First things first, I challenged all the creators that went to the creator meetup on Labor Day weekend to apply for a credit card during our travels. My personal plan was to apply for two credit cards, one being the City AA Executive card. If you haven't seen the video on when I apply for that, please check it out. And the other card was the Chase Inc. Cash card, which I was denied for because, you know, the 524 rule is trash. It's not trash, 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 because I know that it's a business move, but it's trash, trash. But me being me, whenever I apply for a card and receive a denial, I always have another card that I want to apply for because I hate being denied. Disclaimer, it's not wise to apply for three cards in one day. I don't recommend it, especially if you're new to credit or you have a thin credit profile. But to get straight to it, the card that I applied for was the US Bank Altitude Go. And there were two reasons that I applied for that card. One reason being, I wanted to get into the US Bank ecosystem. US Bank is one of those issuers that does not like people to pick up credit cards before they pick up theirs. And from my research, if you don't want to do the research, which a lot of y'all don't do, it's okay. I'm doing it for you. US Bank has a one in six and two in 12 rule. Meaning when you apply for a US Bank credit card, if you've been approved for more than one card in the last six months, you'll probably be denied. And if you've been approved for two cards within the last 12 months, the same thing you will probably be denied by U.S. Bank. And I know some of y'all are going to be like, but Sledge, you've been approved for more than two cars in the last 12 months. And that's true. But here's the thing. From where I live, U.S. Bank pulls your TransUnion credit report for credit card approvals. And the only credit card that I've been approved for in the last 12 months that reports to TransUnion is my Capital One Saver One, which I got approved for on September 13th of 2023. I applied for the U.S. Bank Altitude Go on August 29th, 2024. And I applied for that card on the plane in Houston Airport right after we boarded the plane. Now also for the 1 in 6 and 2 in 12 rule, if you already have cards with U.S. Bank, those rules may not be strictly enforced. Now I said all of that to say that if you're a person who can manage your credit wisely and you would like to apply for multiple cards at the same time, it's not only important to know the bank's rules, but it's also important to know which credit card bureau that issuer pulls from. And that can also vary depending on what state that you live in. Now, if you want to support the channel, consider using the referral links in the description of this video or pick up some of the exclusive Sledging Team merch or even consider joining the membership. There's two membership tiers, $2.99 and $4.99 per month. And you can cancel at any time. Now I posted a question in my community section on YouTube, asking the community, which banks do they have no credit cards from or the banks that they have the least credit cards from? At the time that I pulled the poll, US Bank had the highest at 45%. And a lot of people that responded said it was either city or U.S. Bank or both. And I think that's because of the stigma that both of these banks have that getting approved is rather difficult. But anyways, the three cards that I applied for in one day all pulled from different credit bureaus. City pulled from Equifax, Chase pulled from Experian, and U.S. Bank pulled from TransUnion. And I knew this before I applied because I did my research. If you don't want to do the research, which a lot of y'all don't do, it's okay. I'm doing it for you. Plus, I already had credit cards from both Chase and City. Now, the second reason that I applied for the U.S. Bank Altitude Go was since I canceled my American Express Gold card last year, I wanted another card that gave me four points per dollar 
on dining, which I lost when I canceled the gold card. I was using my Capital One Saver One for dining, which gave me 3% cash back. But now that card will only be used for my entertainment and some, I repeat, some streaming service spending, which I also get 3% cash back on with the Saver One card. Now, the reason that I stressed some streaming services is because I'm going to put my $23.99 YouTube premium family plan on the U.S. Bank Altitude Go. Because as a bonus, even though you get two points per dollar on streaming services with the U.S. Bank Altitude Go, you also get a $15 streaming credit when you charge a streaming service on that card for 11 months. That $15 alone is almost double what I get in cash back if I left my YouTube premium plan on the Saver One card. Because despite what people might think, when you put streaming services on a credit card, you're not really earning that much cash back or that many points unless you have an extreme amount of streaming services. And as for your boy, well, most of my streaming services come free one way or another. Before I applied for the US Bank Altitude Go, I looked at the US Bank Altitude Connect and the Altitude Reserve. But at the present time, Neither of those cards really work for me because it's nothing that those cards offer that I don't already get with cards that I currently have. Now, let's get into what else the Altitude Go offers. We've already established that you get four points per dollar on dining with the Altitude Go. You also get two points per dollar at grocery stores, at gas stations, and on EV charging. You get two points per dollar on streaming services to go along with the $15 credit and you get one point per dollar on all other purchases. The current sign up bonus is an easy 20,000 altitude points when you spend $1,000 within 90 days of being approved for this card, which I just completed before I recorded this video. This card does not have an annual fee. There's 0% interest on the altitude go for the first 12 billing cycles. And if you do a balance transfer, within 60 days of being approved for this card, you also get 0% interest on that for the first 12 billing cycles. But keep in mind, there is a 3% balance transfer fee. And if you do not pay the balance in full before the promotional 0% interest period is over, you will owe base interest on the full balance. In the app, you can see if you're pre-approved for this card or other US bank cards. I believe the only card that you that doesn't have a pre-approval is the U.S. Bank Altitude Reserve. So if you're interested, I would suggest doing the pre-approval before you apply, mainly because U.S. Bank's approval rules can be so strict. But yeah, it's a simple card, but this simple card fits my needs. And when you look for any type of credit card approval, make sure that you're getting a card that fits your needs but if you like this content or was just entertained hit that thumbs up share this video but most importantly drop a salute emoji in the comment section and remember the separation is in the preparation it's your boy sledge salute subscribe to the channel Join the membership. Join the membership. Join the membership. Salute.